Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how the translation mechanism is working in Odoo. So currently in the screen, you are seeing Odoo version 12 community edition where I have already installed the OM hospital module that is Odoo development tutorials module. So in this video, we will see how the translation mechanism is working in Odoo and how to add translation for custom modules in Odoo. So currently, first of all, I will switch the language of Odoo into another language. So we all know that in Odoo, we have we can change the user language into as per our need so that that UI will get translated into that language. So let's see how it is working. So first of all, I will go to settings. So I'll go to the settings and here you can see we have got a menu called translation and here we have got two sub menus that is one is languages and another one is loaded translation so first of all here we have got only one language currently activated that is english language so how the translation work is we can activate the n number of languages into the database so from here any languages can be activated and corresponding translation can be added into the database and once that is done user can change the language suppose if i need to change the language of missile admin he can change its language from preference so if i go to preference so here you can see you have got an option to change the language so from here you can select the corresponding language and on clicking save button the entire ui will be get translated based on the translation file that has been added into the database so this is how the translation mechanism is working so first of all what i will do is that i'll just activate arabic language into the database so here we have got arabic syria so i'll just right now it's in inactive state i'll click on this button so that it will be get activated into the database so here you can see i have activated arabic syria into the database now i have to load corresponding translation so I'll click on load a translation and for the language arabic syria and overwrite existing terms so it will load all the translation from the all the modules all the installed modules in the database so i'll click on load button so let's wait until the translation has been loaded successfully so once it is done so here you can see the selected language has been successfully installed you must change the preference of the user to view the changes so we have already successfully installed arabic language into the system so let's change the user's language to Arabic and see what happens to the UI. So currently in the UI, you have seen everything in English, name, local code, direction, translatable, everything you are seeing in English. So right now I'll go to the preference menu and from the preference, I'll change the language to Arabic. So I have, as I have activated the Arabic in the list, you can go to two languages that is Arabic and Syria. So I'll go with Arabic and I'll click on save button. So once the save button is clicked, the entire UI has been, will be changed into corresponding language. So here you can see all the menus are coming in Arabic as well as all the field labels are coming in Arabic. But ISO code is still in English itself, might be the translation won't be added into the database. That's why you are seeing it in, it in English itself. So if I go to other menus, all the menus are in Arabic itself, except one of the menu that is hospital menu. So here you can see, for this menu, I'm not able to read which is the menu. And here you can see all the submenus are coming in English and all the field labels are coming in Arabic. Sorry, all the field, field all the submenus and all the fields are coming in Arabic. So, but here you can see one exceptional case that is hospital module. And if I open it, you can see all the submenus are coming in. Not all the submenus, most of the submenus are coming in English itself. That's because we have an added translation for corresponding labels so let's see how we can add translation for our custom module that is om hospital or odo development tutorials so first of all before starting that i'll switch back the language to english itself so we can navigate easily so i will switch to the language to english so that we can go easily so the language has been changed to english so we will see how we can add translation for our custom module so first of all what you have to do is that you have to activate the debug mode so i'll just activate the debug mode from here so either you can just activate debug mode from by entering question mark debug in the url or from the settings so currently the debug mode has been activated in the database now i'll go to settings then to the translation now here you can see as the debug mode is activated we are getting extra four menus that is import translation export translation translated terms and generate missing terms so we need to add translation for our custom module that is odoo development tutorials so i'll click on export translation so here you can see language so i need to 
export the translation for Arabic Syria. Okay, I have selected it here. And in the file format, we have got three options that is CSV file, PO file, and TGZ archive. So, most of the case, we will choose PO files and apps to export. And here, I have specified the apps that is Odoo development tutorials, and you have to click export. So, before exporting or before clicking this button, I will go to my PyCharm. And here you can see this is our custom module that is OM hospital module and I will do one thing I'll just close this custom folder and if I go to default add-ons and if I go to account folder that is account module here you can see we have got a folder called i18n that is internationalization that is for localization so this inside this folder you can see different files that is dot po files so dot po files is used for the translation so here you can see we have chosen the file format as PO file. So we are saying we need to get the files in this format that is .PO format. So here you can see there is a AR.PO file which is the Arabic translation. And if you check these files inside, you will not understand what things are done. So once we export the file from here, that is if you click on export, we will get a such a file. And inside this, you can see message ID STR, the parent company. Thus, this is the English string, and you can see message STR. This is the corresponding Arabic translation which is added. So let's see how we can do the same for our module. So, first of all, we have to add a such a folder that is i18n for our module. So if I go to OM, OM hospital, here you can see we don't have i18n folder inside our module. So let's add that folder first. So I'll click on new and I'm going to add a directory. And you have to give name as i18n and click on ok so we have added a folder for the translation now we have to place the files inside this folder so to get those files you can come here in the ui and you can just click on export button so i have selected the languages arabic syria the format is pure file and in the apps to export here you can select multiple apps but i'm not going to select multiple apps i need only our module that is auto development tutorials and if I click on export, you can see we will get a file. So here is your exported translation file. Click to download. That is ar underscore sy.po. So I'll click on this. Instead of opening, I'll click on save file. Okay. So it will be saved into my downloads, downloads folder. Now if I go to downloads folder, so I'm in downloads folder. Here you can see ar.sy.po. So I'll just copy this and I will paste it inside our module. That's if I go to Odoo audio tool where is audio tool audio tool and custom and i will paste it inside oim hospital and this is the file that we have added and i will paste it here so we have added the downloaded file inside the i18n folder now if i go to pycharm and here you can see that file so this is the file that we have opened for account so i'll just close it and let me open the file that we have downloaded now so this is the download file right now and here you can see a lot of codes which has been comes automatically generated now what we need is that don't get worried regarding this we just need to add like here you can see strong age so you have to just add a translation here for the corresponding english word into arabic here so i'll do one thing if i scroll down if i scroll down here you can see the active the english active is english word and corresponding arabic is system is automatically generated and activities corresponding is added so like that if i search down or if i search for doctor inside this file doctor so here you can see create your first doctor so let me search where it is existing so finding path where is finding path yes if i search for create your first doctor inside xml here you can see this is the help that we have given for the corresponding action so if you need to translate this that is create your first doctor in arabic what you have to do is that i'll go to the bio file create your first doctor so if you need to translate this create your first doctor string you can just copy this Control c and you can use the help of google translate so here i have already opened the google translate i'll just paste it here that is create your first doctor and here i'll change the language to arabic so i need to get the corresponding arabic language so i have get the corresponding arabic string so i'll copy this and i will paste it here inside the translation file so in the message str i will paste the string that i have copied from the google translation so like that you can do it for all the strings that you have seen here so create your first lab i will copy that and i will paste it here control and i will copy the corresponding arabic string and i will update the things here 
so like this you can add for every file select corresponding translation you can add here so right now we have done for two things that is one for the action help and this one so before that if i go to go to hospital module i'll go to the patient's form so if i go to hospital and if i go to the patient's form view here i have got different fields and here you can see we have got a field Oh, here we have got a field called doctor gender and if I switch the language to Arabic if I switch the language to Arabic from English I'll click on save button the doctor language will stay as such I think so in the Arabic also we are getting us doctor gender so let's see how we can translate this label doctor gender I'll go to PyCharm and if I search it here that is inside this file here you can see the message str that is translation is empty so let's go to the google translate and let's paste it here control v and we will get corresponding translation and i will paste it inside the file that is message str i will paste the corresponding arabic string so that's done now we will restart the service and we will upgrade the module to get these changes so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade so before upgrading i'll just switch back the language to english so from here i'll go to preference and from the preference i'll switch back the english language to english and i click on save button and we have to update the module to get those changes so we have added three translation now we will go to apps menu and from the apps menu we will just upgrade the odoo development tutorials module so yet if you haven't downloaded this module you can just get it from the odoo app store or from the github repository and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos and you can just refer the channel to your odoo friends so let's wait until the module has been get upgraded successfully so you can see the module has been upgraded now what we have to do is that we will go to the hospital menu and if we go to patients form view and here you can see right now the user's language is English and we are seeing it as Dr. Gender. And let's see what happens if we switch the language to Arabic. So I'll go to the preference and from the preference I will change the user language to Arabic and I'll click on save button and you can see a change coming here inside that Dr. Gender field. So here you can see the Dr. Gender field has been successfully trans translated. So this is the translation that we have added here inside the code right now. So currently you can see the translation is coming successfully like that if you need to translate this registration note go to google translate get the corresponding word control c and come to the po file and search for registration note registration note yes it's here and you can add the translation here so that's done now just upgrade the module to get those changes so i will keep the language as arabic itself and i'll go to assume that this is the apps menu and from the apps menu we will get other development tutorials modules at the second row yeah here we have got other development tutorials and i think this is the update button and i'll click on the update button so let's wait until the module has been upgraded and we will see the registration node will also get translated into the arabic itself so the module is getting loaded so i'm telling once more if you haven't subscribed the channel please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos which is getting released in this channel so the translation module has been upgraded successfully now we will go to the hospital menu and then to the patients here we have got the patients menu and if i open the patients menu you can see the registration note has also been translated so this is how you can just add translation into the system and if you need to add further more languages like multiple languages what you have to do is that i'll just switch back to language to english itself i'll go to the english and if you need to add further more translation or like french german dutch or spanish etc what you have to do is that you have to follow the same procedure you have to go to settings and you have to activate the corresponding language so first of all you have to go to languages and if let it i will choose some languages from here fr or i will choose german so here we have got german or not german i'll choose some other japanese so we have got japanese i'll just open the corresponding language click on activate so once you click on activate the corresponding language will get activated in the database so here you can see the top we have got three activated languages and if you need to add corresponding translation load a translation select the language that is japanese Select it, overwrite existing terms, 
and load so once you've done this the language will be activated and its translation will be loaded into the database so you can see you must see that the selected language has been successfully installed you must change the preference or user to view the changes and i click on the close button so the japanese language will be installed in the database and if i need to add it into the code you can click on translation click on export translation and in the new language you have to choose japanese select the file format as po file and select the apps to export as or development tutorials and click on export so once you click on export you will get a translation file for the corresponding language that is jajpo so you can click on it so that it will get downloaded and from the downloads folder you can just copy it to your module that is you can just copy this as we have done for arabic i'll just copy and i will paste it inside our module that is module 12 and inside the custom we have got OM hospital it's it's here and inside i18n you have can just paste it here and you can just upgrade the module to see or to get those changes so here you can see we have got another language so same procedure here you can add like for h2 you can add corresponding japanese string here so this is how you can add translation for your module another thing that you have to take care is that and what you have to do i'll just explain inside these module we have added different validation errors like if i search for validation error inside our code here you can see we have added the validation error like raise validation error age must be greater than five so here you can see an underscore here so this is for the translation so if you haven't given this underscore here the string that this string which is getting displayed in the ui won't get translated anytime so if you need to translate such string that you are throwing or you are popping up in the screen you need to add an underscore first that is this is for trans translation so once you add this only you can translate the corresponding string so this is one thing that you have to take care then another thing you have to see is that if i go to products so let me go to inventory and if i go to master data and then to the products and if i open any of the products that is acoustic block string and if i click on edit button here you can see a globe icon at the top of this field if you click on this you will be redirected to translation and here from here you can just click on enter and enter the translation value so here you can see its language is arabic and its acoustic block screen you can just copy it paste it and you can get the corresponding arabic word Control c and you can paste it here and you can click on save so you can see corresponding translation has been added so for a field if you need to get this facility what you have to do is that you have to give translation true for the field so if you go to pycharm and if i search for translate equal to true translate equal to true you can see the field argument like description translate equal to true so you have to give this also for the fields to get it translated so i think if you need more we will continue more on the translation in the next video so if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the videos thank you